My name is Semida Silveira. I'm a professor in systems engineering. I'm an engineer architect in my first degree and then a PhD in regional planning. I've been working with energy and sustainability for a few decades now and specializing in energy and climate planning and policy and sustainable development. I'm also a member of the Council of Engineers for the Energy Transition that has been recently created by the Secretary General of the United Nations. So the energy transition is often understood as the shift from fossil fuel systems to renewable energy sources, and also an improvement of energy efficiency to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, preserve resources, and improve welfare. This combination of issues are of greatest importance. These are the, the 17 goals that address immediate needs of society until 2030. And we want to address poverty, we want to address health, we want to address hunger, and of course, we want to address energy. This is actually the first time energy is as one of the key and central goals at global level. We have always known about the importance of energy, but it has not been brought to the foreground in the past. So in general, as you can see, there is a continuous increase in energy demand. And this is a real problem. You can see here that we have increased emissions by approximately 50% since we signed the convention that we said we are going to address climate change. So we've been talking a lot, but we have been discussing processes and we have been discussing how we are going to create carbon markets. But actually, we have not yet bent the curve of emissions. Because if we want to address climate change and our matrix is very strongly dependent on fossil fuels, then we will have to reduce, particularly in the rich countries, so that we allow some entrance of conventional energy into developing countries to allow development. We know that energy enables prosperity but we actually are not on a pathway that will be leading to a low carbon future. We need to address this uh, and get on a pathway to sustainability. So there is a lot of work to do. This is an example for the United States. So here is efficiency measures and Council of Energy Efficiency in, in the US is that efficiency measures could take the US halfway to its climate goals by 2050, so that's a lot. But we can see here that these, these measures are in many, many different places. It's, it goes from standards of vehicles to changing commercial building standards or to changing appliances. So summarizing, where do we stand in the climate agenda? Well, we have a very tight carbon budget. We can afford to emit 500 billion tons of CO2, and that will give us a 50% chance of holding temperature to 1.5. So there is a, always a margin of how fast climate change is, is going to take place. We need, as I mentioned before, emissions need to peak by 2025, and then they have to go down drastically. But the concentrations are increasing to very dangerous levels. And the changes that we are going to see in ecosystems in the past, there was this idea that well, maybe uh, there is going to be gradual transformation, but today we know that there are sometimes thresholds are passed that they, they are rather irreversible. So in some ecosystems, the, the impacts can be quite significant and irreversible, like desertification. There is a great consensus on the urgency of the matter, but we still need to make extra efforts to accelerate changes. The, the organic transformation is not enough. 